World Edit for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. In this video, we're going to go over how to download it, install it, and get things up and running, and even like get some World Edit commands going in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Now, one thing I will mention is that World Edit for Bedrock Edition is not fully featured as far as like it doesn't have everything that World Edit for Java Edition does, but it has most of the features, right? Probably 60 to 80 percent, depending on exactly what you're looking for, which is pretty good considering Bedrock Edition is relatively underpowered in comparison to what Java Edition is able to do. First things first, though, this video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own Minecraft Bedrock Edition server quickly and easily. With just a few clicks, you can have a custom Bedrock server up and running that you 100% have control of and cost less than Realm. So go check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get a Bedrock server with 24 hours, 7 day a week support and just an amazing, amazing hardware. Nevertheless, let's get World Edit for Bedrock. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link in the description down below and that will take you here. This is the download page for World Edit for Bedrock and once you're here, you want to go ahead and scroll down. You're going to have to scroll down a decent ways to be able to get to the downloads section. So right here it is. Here is the downloads section. Once you're here, you want to go ahead and download World Edit. We're doing this for 119, but if you're doing it for another version, you can select that as well. Let's go ahead and click on Download World Edit 119 Plus. It's going to give you this warning. Go ahead and click here to continue. You're good to do that. Now, unfortunately, this does take you through Link for Ties. This is where a lot of Minecraft downloads are hosted. However, if you are a creator for Minecraft Bedrock add-ons or anything like that, want to get rid of Link for Ties and hopefully earn some more revenue, go ahead and reach out to us via Twitter. Twitter links in the description. We are more than willing to help you out. Nevertheless, though, Link for Ties does allow the creators of World Edit and all the Minecraft Bedrock add-ons that use it to generate some revenue for all the work they put into their mods. So that is why we deal with it and it's worth doing so in that regard. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and scroll down and click on the free access with ads here. And then you want to go ahead and click on the discover related topics. Now in this, you can't just click the X, right? You actually need to click on something. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on World Edit for MC Bedrock. For some reason, it Googles something. I don't understand that, but it might also pop up an ad or something like that. But nevertheless, when you come back to this page, close out of this, and now you can go ahead and continue to the download. When you click on that, the download is going to begin automatically in the bottom left. As you can see, .mc add-on. There it is. It is now downloaded. As long as it does have .mc add-on, like ours does, you get to keep it or save the file. We can now go ahead and minimize our browser, and I recommend moving this to your desktop. However, if you're on Pocket Edition, be it you're on iOS or Android, just go ahead and click on the file as it downloads, right? Just go ahead, and once it's done, click on the file and you'll be good to go. On iOS, you may have to go to your files app and click on it there, but nevertheless, that's all you got to do on mobile. Just click on the file when you downloaded it. On desktop, it's kind of similar as well. You just need to find the file. It's going to be in your downloads folder. So click on the little Windows icon, top left of my screen, bottom of your screen or bottom center of your screen on Windows 11, and then go ahead and drag this from your downloads folder into your desktop, right? Oh, by the way, click on this uh, Windows icon, type in downloads, click on the downloads folder, and then drag it to your desktop. And to install World Edit for Bedrock Edition, just double click on this file. It's so going to open up Minecraft right like so, and like I said, this is what will happen on Android now as well. When you click on it, it'll just open up the file and bada bing, bada boom, it starts importing at the top. Once the import is finished, it will go ahead and say successfully imported world edit. Now at this point, we need to go ahead and enable it in our world. So let's go ahead and click play. If you're in a new world, it's a bit different. You would click create new world, create new world again, and then you would select it on the left hand side here in behavior packs, right? So you would go ahead, click on available, and then click on the activate button. However, if you have an existing world, what you want to do is go ahead and click on the edit button. And then on the left hand side, click on behavior packs here come under my packs and then click on world edit for bedrock and click activate click continue and then boom finally it is installed what you want to make sure is that it is under active under behavior packs now there is one more thing we need to do before we click play and that is go into game scroll down and we want to make sure that we do a few things here one cheats should be enabled right it doesn't have to be per se but i'd recommend it cheats needs to be enabled on top of that you want to go ahead and under the experiments tab you want to turn on holiday creator features. So go ahead and activate experiments. It's going to copy your world. That's the downside of doing this. So we might need to re-enable the behavior pack. We do. So let's go into behavior packs and click activate again to reactivate this. Make sure that whatever world you're playing has this active. Go into game. Then we want to make sure that the holiday creator pack is enabled under experiments, which there it is. Then we also want to go ahead and enable game test framework. So game test framework, we want to make sure that is enabled. The rest of these don't have to be enabled, but I honestly would recommend them being enabled. I like them all enabled, but the only what you need is the holiday creator features and the game test framework. Now we can go ahead and click play and it will open up Minecraft with World Edit. Now, one thing that is different about this World Edit versus default Minecraft World Edit in Java Edition is uh, if you do like slash slash, which is what I'm used to, it won't work, right? And that's because it actually uses a semicolon to 
basically use the command. So we do semicolon wand. It does say no permission there, which is uh, kind of interesting. Please check the command exists to use it. Commands, generic, world edit, no permission. Odd. One second. That was my fail there. There was one more step that I missed, and that is tagging yourself with world edit. So to do that, you want to type slash tag, at sign, right? S, and then add world edit, all one word. Exactly like this right here. And then go ahead and hit enter. And when you do that, it's going to now allow you to use world edit, which again, we can do with semicolon, wand and get a wand going. Boom. And there we go. Now we can kind of use world edit as we're used to. So we can go ahead and select position one by crouching and right clicking, right? Like so. Boom. We are on bedrock edition on computer. It's a bit different on mobile. And then come over here and select position two, right? Like so. Boom. There we go. And now we have this position selected. One thing that this does have that world edit doesn't have by default is it actually outlines stuff, which is pretty cool. Now with the selected, we can do things like cut this area. So we can go ahead and again, use semicolon and then do cut and it will go ahead and remove our selection. Now, if we want to do things like paste, we can do that as well. So we can do semicolon paste and it will just uh, paste it back where our selection was, which is pretty cool. Pretty simple. We can also paste in other areas. So we can paste it back this way a little bit. Or if we uh, want to do something real crazy, we can go over here and do paste. And uh, when we paste it, it will paste behind us. Boom. Um, you can kind of see it. It did paste it there. Nevertheless, that is how you can do that. You can make more selections. So we go ahead and move our first position by crouching and right clicking. We can move our second position by just running over here and not right clicking. We can run other commands. We've got this bigger selection now. However, what are those commands? Well, they can be found in the description. This is basically the in-depth guide for World Edit for Bedrock. You'll land here, but if you want to select on your commands, just click commands there, and here they are. There's tons of different commands. Again, not every command that is in Java Edition is in Bedrock Edition, but they're adding more and more functionality. And honestly, there is a ton of stuff here that is in Java Edition as well. For example, you can actually use brushes, which blew my mind. I was not expecting that on Bedrock Edition. You can do it though. Overall, there are tons of different stuff you can do in game and it's really, really cool. It's also cool that you can copy and paste. I can't get over that enough, actually being able to easily copy and paste stuff in Bedrock. This is getting better and better every single day and every single week, so check it out. It is truly amazing to be able to use World Edit in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And again, check out the helpful guide in the description for more in-depth stuff on commands as well as other stuff, right? If you have any differences between the two, right? You want to know the differences? Here we go. There's what they are, right? So many stuff. So much stuff that you can do, and it's honestly impressive. Brushes, there's guides on how to use brushes. This is better than World Edit's documentation in some ways, which is impressive. So there you have it. That's how you can use World Edit in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. You can make selections. You can do all that stuff. Uh, we did some uh, pasting here um, off, off camera, and it uh, has broken some things. But nevertheless, that is how you can use it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Again, to make a selection, you would do a semicolon wand in chat, and then you would go ahead and crouch and right click, boom, set the first position, run over, and then just right click anywhere to set the second position, right like so. And then uh, now you've got a selection, right? And you can do things with this selection, like cut, copy, paste, all that stuff. Um, the reason I'm not doing that is it actually did get a relative laggy for me, relatively laggy for me when I was doing that before. And that's why you kind of had to do a jump cut there at the end, uh, quite a hard jump cut, apologize for that. But nevertheless, that is how you can get World Edit in Bedrock Edition. Let's go ahead and see if we can cut this because uh, why not? Go ahead and uh, or copy it. We'll copy it. Boom. There we go. We've copied. You can rotate, by the way. So we can do that. So we can go ahead and rotate. So we can do a semicolon, rotate, and then like 90 degrees. Boom. And then we can paste this. Uh, it uh, it rotated our selection 90 degrees. Uh, that's not exactly what we wanted, but it did rotate. So there we go. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.